a bigger digger. This looks like a cool book by Brett Averson and the pictures are by Craig Smith. A bigger digger. A bigger digger. Farmyard. They were doing no harm on Mum's little farm, just digging around in the shade. With Oscar's front paws and Bryn on all fours, working hard with his bucket and spade. Right there in the yard, they struck something hard. As they dug down, it kept getting bigger. There's a dinosaur head in the shade by the shed. I need a much bigger digger. The museum said, they're sending round Ted with a bobcat and truck for the tailings. Hi Ted. I've come to take charge. This hole could get large. The shed's got to go and the railings. What I thought was a boulder was really a shoulder. We have to go deeper, I figure. We'll need trucks and more men, and I've called my mate Ken. He's got a much bigger digger. Holy moly. What a big hole. Ted was looking quite pale. There's a spine and a tail. Bryn's mum sat him down with a drink. Oh, do you know what it is? Well, Oscar. Well, Bryn, Ted said with a grin. Come sit here with me while I think. Hmm... what he's thinking about. It might be complete. Let's go for the feet. There's certainly not been another. You'll be famous, you'll see. You'll be on TV. Oscar and you and your mother. We'll need much more space for mounting in place. We'll go wider and deeper and bigger. We'll need some backhoes and trucks by the rows and you guessed it, a much bigger digger. Whoa, look at all the trucks taking the dirt away. But why was Bryn's shirt all covered in dirt? Why was Oscar hiding a snigger? Do dinosaurs have daddy's head? We've just found a larger head.
better go get a much bigger digger. <laughs> it's huge. The end. Oh, that's another book stuck in the muck. Well, what did you think of that book? A much bigger digger. <laughs>